Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Another sad day, another beer, and another video. So I was recommended this video by at Fayeron. Um, he said, you want to see a bass monster? Well, then we can only warmly recommend the band Asterism and their song Rising Moon. Don't know anything about this, and this is off the back of last week's song Band Made which I absolutely loved, I, I might add. I was blown away by their musicianship. Astounding. Absolutely astounding. So yeah, I thought, hey, look, I'm right into recommendations. You guys know what you what you like and what you think I might um, enjoy reviewing. So without any more dicking around, a lad's rock. Shit, how old are they? Ooh, nice. <laughs> Pinch harmonic. Sounds like, um... That's a girl! I thought it was a boy. Or a male. Ooh, that's nice. Sounds like Jack Wells, classic. Everybody loves that pink pin chop. Oh, that must only be about fourteen or fifteen of that. My children are 15. Just stop it there. Um, old mate on the left, what is it? I didn't take 100% notice, but it looked like it was either a 6 or 7 string bass, which I did know they made them. Um, so this could be interesting. Ages? They look like they're about 14 or so. And if that's their level of ability already, holy shit. Like I have 15-year-old uh, triplets. And um, I tried to teach them the piano, the guitar. And while they started out good, they dropped away, which you can't force it on them. But yeah, this is awesome. And I thought that was a male with the hair all long hair. And uh, it's a girl, and she is rocking. I'm pretty much blown away by what, what we've seen today. Looks like it might be an instrumental, I think. Anyhow, let's keep on rocking. It's an eight string bass, I think.
this is impressive. Chills. <laughs> yes, mate. I'm pretty sure that's seven string bass. It could be wrong though. And what is she playing? Is that a Pacifica guitar? Um, I'm trying to see. Is that one of those like humbucker? But it does. It looks like a single chord, but an actual humbucker in the neck position. Um, don't know. The guitar sound was was. Just sound like a fat wall of marshals, which is exactly what you're looking at. But um, that I that was brilliant. I mean, their age they can't be very old for their level of musicianship. I I'm right. I've always been into Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, uh, guitar instrumental stuff, and that obviously was a guitar instrumental. It had quite a good structure to it. It was a little bit more loose. Like it had a melody line and a melody hook right at the start of it and a major key and it, that was pretty cool. Then it sort of went off into more jamming for the rest of it and it went into like a minor key I think at the end. Then we were getting some Chuck Berry licks and and then some like Nuno licks. Uh, she's got black the black nail polish going. Um, but I really liked it and I reckon that listening to that again and again it'll that will be another one on my playlist. The drummer, let's not leave the drummer out. He was pretty phenomenal too. He's playing a Yamaha kit there, I'd see. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about these guys. And like, how is this their first release? Is it? Oh, I'll, I'll have to look into this too. Like, you guys are leading me down a path here of um, discovery that I did not know was out there. On YouTube, you can, you know, you do go off in paths, but. I tend to always end up in the same place of what I like. So this is really interesting. I'm getting to see some music I wouldn't always look at or know about, actually, for that matter. Loved it. Keep those recommendations rocking, guys. Yeah. Um I might I need I I'll probably go back to some more home free and some other bits and pieces at some stage, but at the moment I'm enjoying this rock route I'm going down. Anyhow, guys, till next time, I hope you like the review, and as always, keep on rocking.